left, right, left, right, left. My brain, it has left the building. <laughs> Drowning in spreadsheets and formats that spill over into my personal life because to the core, I'm technical. And there is nothing more pleasant to my calculated formulated round that number to the nearest decimal point, left side of my mind, personality nickname chic, then a left alone font 12 explanation, that's how I'm picturing as you talk, using a sprinkle of SAT words that I have to go look up in a dictionary because conversation is more fun when you turn it into a game, one that you had no idea was going on in my mind. Anyway, if you keep going left, Eventually, you will end up right, and this side likes to come out at night. Rhythmic sonics lurking through my mind, blocking dreams, eyes wide open, hands tingling, ready to release. Tablets are my nightstand and pens are my lamps, illuminating conceptual inspiration that keeps me company. Who needs dreams? I'm living them every time I speak in a mic, poetry, my thoughts, moved and shaped through my eyes. I've seen my reality unzip right in front of me through images that never make it to TV. I'm a traveler, long before GPS. I used to print out map quest directions that I often detoured because I'm nosy when I travel. <laughs> Sense, smells, food, people, conversations, Stick to my mind like photography, images too vast to be confined to a physical print. Poetry was a beautiful accident. I didn't see it coming. It was in the early 90s. I was in a high school pageant. As my talent, I did a monologue, Black Love by Gwendolyn Brooks. And after it was over, my mom said, how did you do that? Recite all those words. I smiled and said, I just kept reading them until I memorized them. I couldn't forget them because I believed in them. I can't speak what I don't believe and that's true, even in engineering. Numbers don't lie, people do, and theory can't lie unless you are a really good storyteller. And they say engineers are not creative. Technically and creatively, poetry and engineering are more connected than you think. I dress up cost reports with color-coded tabs and written summaries of commentary that I make each engineer stand up and read in a poetic fashion, turning our monthly business meetings into an open mic. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Life is a band. And I am directing a piece written for me called The Poetic Engineer. It's the story of a woman who is navigating the blurred lines between her passion and her profession. This composition isn't finished yet, but it is not your normal composition. It's not made of notes, but of words and numbers. Doesn't make sense to the public, but to her it does as she marches to her own beat. Left, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, left. Thank you. <laughs>